My name is Karen Radcliffe and I teach on the Events Management um, Undergraduate Degree Programme. Um, I'm the coordinator for the induction programme. We have a particular objective um, for Level 5s is one of the main things that they do in that year is they do a live project working with an industry mentor. The industry mentor is from a charity um, and just the same way as you would do in, within the events industry, they have to pitch for a job. Um, to, in order to be able to win the contract to be able to put on an event. Um, that starts right on, on day one. And what they have to do for that is they have to get into a group um, of which we give them lots of bell bin tests and all that sort of stuff to see what skills they've got within the team. And they get themselves as a, a, as a group. They give themselves a group name. And then we have all the industry mentors, all the charities are here and then we have an exhibition and they, they all present themselves as a, um, as a charity about what they do, what their ethos is, what they want to achieve, um, and what they would like the students to achieve for them. So almost like a client brief. The students go, go round to each of them, presenting themselves as a group, and they, by this time they've made a name up. They introduced themselves to all the charities, and... They have the opportunity at the end of the day of choosing the charity that they would most like to work with. Um, and that's the range of one to five, one being the, the one that they most want to work with. But what's also happening is as they're going round, the industry mentors are also checking out the, tip, the groups and seeing how, you know, how personable they are, whether they check, whether they shake hands, um, just a general first introduction. And they also choose their top favourite five groups and then we have the task then the rest of the week to try and marry the two up and then the following week they're told who the charity is that they're working with um, so the the right at the very um, beginning that that process has started um, and it, that's really important we've tried other things which didn't have as good a response um, but the students really really appreciated the fact that if they're not chosen, there's a reason they're not chosen and maybe they need to readdress how they speak to people or the way they come across. Um, because we are trying to get them industry ready and certainly a lot of our students go out on placement. So they will be doing this for real within the year. So it's really important for us to start that off at the beginning. Level five is again welcoming them back and saying, OK, you've had five months off now, it's back to you know, back to start to knuckle down, but it's also about them understanding the, the, the crucial elements of working with industry. So it's about them having a go at working with an industry expert. Um, it's one of, the, one of the things that every year when students come to see the course on open days, it's the one thing that they're all constantly asking about. It's the thing that level fours are constantly asking about. They're excited about doing this live event the following year. Level five has definitely got to be about professionalism. It's got to, it's got to be about, um, for them, it's the fact that they're working for real. They're working with a client. They're doing it rather than talking about it. So their excitement is definitely about the fact that they're doing this live project with somebody that's not the university. It's, it's somebody from out there that's doing it already and they're doing a live event. Um, and that's definitely the biggest feedback that we get, that they really enjoy it. We tried other things and they didn't enjoy that, but last year's feedback was really good, really positive. There was a couple of tweaks that we're gonna do, um, but on the whole, that's the bit that they really enjoyed doing. They're not always happy because they don't always get the client that they want, but that's real life. You know, you don't always win a contract and that's a hard lesson that they all have to learn. It's scary because it is a big step and you realise that like, like in induction week today, like this week, we've just done so much already and it's, yeah, it's nerve wracking to think what, what else we've got to do and what, but it's also fun to think we're going to be creating like a whole event. A lot more intense than last year, a lot more intense, like 
I felt like getting up this morning, I was like, I've got to get, get up and get in. Whereas last year, I was just like, nah, it's not, it's not, not about that life. It's fresh as week, man. But obviously, the second year, it's a lot more intense. But I think it's set you up nicely for the rest of the year. You know now that it's a lot more serious now than it was first year. I have actually really enjoyed it. And I think it's been something different to what we used to, which I think we need to get used to with having interviews for placements, which obviously is coming up, things like that. So yeah, intense, but good. Um, and the skills I think we've got today, um, obviously like communication skills with professionals like Andre said and things like that, but also I think that's obviously helped with talk to professionals in general, so for interviews. Now I find it really good like, and you hear about so many different charities that you've actually never heard about before and they actually do really need our help to help raise awareness and to sort of get it promoted a little bit more. I think I've definitely got like more confidence because we've had to talk to loads of like people we don't know, so been like a big confidence builder. And teamwork, like learning their teamwork, a lot of teamwork, I think we've done pretty well. I definitely think it makes you realise like what you've got to do in the future, like, to, like you've got to sort of pitch to a client and it's just learning isn't it, like, getting used to have time to do Thank you for watching this Good Practice Exchange film. You can find lots more teaching ideas and resources on our website.